All right, team. All right, BFit Nation. Welcome back to another Motivational Monday, another BFit Live as we get settled in today for our live workouts. I'll go over the, uh, the timing, the workout, the demos, and things like that. That way we know exactly what to look out for for today's workout. But first and foremost, I hope everyone has had a great weekend. I hope you're off to a great start to your Monday. This is an even better start to help progress and strengthen ourselves throughout uh, our day as we head into a new week. As a new week goes, we like to think about our goals as we move forward and progress through this week. So welcome into our BFIT Live, our exchange BFIT Live programmed workouts where we are tackling and targeting different muscle groups for today. So we have some resistance training for today. So if you have any dumbbells, any kettlebells, anything to add resistance to scale up the movements, go ahead and grab those now. Um, you won't need a mat, uh, go ahead and grab your water, uh, towel, uh, anything like that, and find that open space that I hope you have available to you for today. You don't need much, but a little bit of an open space so that way we can go ahead and focus and work and dial in on some specific muscle groups that we're gonna target for today. Um, the timing uh, for work today, actually, before we get started on timing, go ahead and let us know where you're joining us from. Drop, an, drop us a note in the comments below in the Facebook comments, uh, I'm here. Uh, with you as well. So I'll be reading and looking over any comments that you may leave down below. So uh, let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you are working out from today. Are you working out today? Let us know. All right. Uh, if you um, cannot work out with us right this moment, save this video, share it with your friends, share it with your family, and uh, go ahead and tackle this workout a little later on today. If you have that time, dial it in. It's all strength resistance training for today. Okay, so again, dumbbells can help scale up this, these movements as we move through our four different movements. So our timing for today, once again, our timing is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one minute rest in between each round, and we're gonna have four rounds that we're gonna tackle. Once again, that's 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each of those rounds to help us hydrate and refocus and get ready for that next round. All right, team? So who's ready to go? Who's ready to work? All right. Well, let's go through the movements for today. All right. That way we know exactly what we're going to look out for, exactly what we're going to do within today's resistance-based workout. All right. Um, listen for any tips, any techniques, any coaching cues, and any form correction. That way we can take away during each movement to execute. So it is resistance-based uh, workout for today. So take these movements controlled. All right. Take them a little slower. Uh, find that tempo that works best for you, okay, to your comfort level, but also challenge yourself, all right? If it's going to be an increase in weight, uh, let's go ahead and increase that weight. If it's an increase in tempo, all right, let's go ahead and increase that tempo to wherever we can challenge ourselves for these movements, all right, team? Let's start off with demos, all right? We're looking at demos for four different movements here. A lot of lower body movements that we're going to go through for today. So let's start off with two. Let's start off with a pair of dumbbells here. All right, we're going to go into an alternating reverse lunge with an overhead press. All right, so we're going to find that workout space. We're going to front rack our dumbbells into that front rack position, just meaning that they're going to be at shoulder width apart. Our, our palms are going to be facing each other. From here, we're going to go into that reverse lunge. So give yourself that front of that workout space here. We're going to take one leg. We're going to extend it back into that reverse lunge, drop that knee down. All right. And once we come back up, drive up to standing position, we're going to press our dumbbells overhead, palms facing each other as we control those dumbbells coming back down. And then you're going to alternate into that reverse lunge and then an overhead press. Okay, find that tempo. Again, that works best for you. I'll call out different movements and different control techniques as we go through that movement, but it's going to be an alternating reverse lunge into an overhead press. All right, sticking with one dumbbell into movement number two, a little bit of a lower body isolation with balance and control as we go into a single leg and opposing single arm dumbbell row. So we're going to set ourselves up one dumbbell here. We're going to pivot off of one leg. So think about balance, stabilization, and control, keeping our core nice and tight. You're going to extend one leg back about 80%, 90% of our weight is going to be on that front leg unless we lift off that rear leg, then 100% of that weight is going to be on that front leg. So we're forcing our body to stabilize and balance. You're going to feel a lot of activation in that grounded leg 
glute, hamstring, and quad, okay? Soft bend at those knees, all right? Keep that soft knee at that, bit, at that knee as it's grounded. From here, my, my alternate arm is gonna extend out and we're gonna go into a single arm row, all right? We're gonna row to really engage our lats and our mid to upper back. So you're gonna bring that arm up into that 90 degree bend with that alternating row, okay? Try and extend that, that leg out a few inches or rest that toe on that floor as we extend up into that alternating row, okay? You're gonna feel a lot of activation, activation once again on that grounded leg. We're gonna do that for 20 seconds for one arm and then we're gonna go ahead and alternate to finish out the remaining time of that 40 seconds of work into that single arm alternating row, okay? Try to keep our back flat and most importantly, try and keep our hips square to the floor. All right, team? That's gonna be your single arm and single leg alternating row, okay? We're gonna stick with one dumbbell once again for movement number three. We have a front squat with a three second pause at the bottom. So a little bit of timing under tension, all right? A little bit of resistance time under tension. As we go down into our squat, our feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. We're gonna keep that dumbbell grasped by both he by the head of the dumbbell at our chest level. Our elbows are gonna be supported underneath that weight. From here, we're gonna drop down into our squat wherever our comfort level may be, all right? Soften at those knees, shoulder width apart or a little wider on our foot placement. From here, drop down, we're gonna pause. One, two, three seconds, and then drive right back up through our heels, our quads, our glutes, and back to standing position. So we're down for one second, hold, one, two, three, drive right back up for one second. So it's one, three, and then one, okay? And then you're gonna go right back into that squat, making sure that our chest is up nice and proud, our shoulders are rolled back, and our hips and our glutes get pushed back and down to our comfort level, wherever that may be. We're gonna add that we can do without weight here or with weight, all right? With that three second pause at the bottom, that's gonna really scale up this movement a little bit to challenge us to really stay into that lower squat, all right? A little bit of time under tension. Once again, asking our muscle, targeted muscle groups to hold that isometric hold for three seconds and then drive right back up. If, you look, if you're looking to scale up any movement, just add in a pause to that bottom or that top position. And that can really help to challenge yourself with scaling up any type of movement, all right? That's gonna be exercise number three, that dumbbell front squat with a three second pause. Exercise number four, movement number four, we have 10 mountain climbers and then two push-ups. all right? 10 mountain climbers, gonna call out some helpful tips here for those mountain climbers, all right? We're gonna get into our high plank position. Our hands are gonna stack underneath our shoulders, all right? We wanna get into that nice flat back high plank position here. From here, we wanna drive that knee up to our chest, all right? Wherever our tempo may be, keeping our back flat and our hips square to the floor. We're gonna try not to sway those hips, all right? Keep your feet shoulder width apart as we drive into those mountain climbers. We have 10 mountain climbers. From there, set ourselves up into that high plank position. We have two push-ups. One, two, and then we drive right back into those 10 mountain climbers, all right? 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups for exercise number four. All right, team, how's that sound? How's that look? How's that sound? <laughs> Carla, thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much for sharing. Let me know how the workout is going for you. Are you tackling it right now? Are you tackling it later? Let us know, all right? Let us know for you, but thank you so much for joining us, all right, team? So those are gonna be the four movements, the four resistance-based movements for today. Again, take your time with these movements, controlled movements, controlled form is gonna be the name of the game for today, but I, wanna, I want you to give me all of your effort, all right? A lot of your effort, all of your effort for today's BeFit Live. Now, as we come back down here, catch my breath. We're gonna go into some dynamic stretching, all right? That way we can get our bodies prepared, ready to work, and then we'll jump right into our workout, all right? Our workout is just under 20 minutes, okay? Four rounds, timing once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds, one minute rest in between each round, all right? Dynamic stretch to start off with. So let's just start off nice and controlled, nice and easy, trying to bring that heart rate from a resting heart rate to an elevated heart rate. So. Let's start off with a little bit of shoulder mobility here. We have some nice big single arm circles here. Since we do have some shoulder presses, some anterior work, the head of our shoulder is gonna work. 
we want to, let's go in reverse here. We want to go ahead and make sure that our shoulder mobility is nice and warmed up, all right? Just for those shoulder presses, those mountain climbers. We want to make sure that our body's warmed up. All right, that's good with my right arm. Let's start off forward motion here with my left, with our left here, all right? <clears throat> Again, I hope your weekend was nice and fulfilled. Now it's time to put in some work here to start off our Mondays nice and strong. All right, BFit Nation, here we go. As forward, let's go in reverse here with that single arm. I think in reverse, it can really show where your mobility is at and your range of motion <laughs> for these arm circles. Nice, big, wide arm circles. All right, team, from arms, we're gonna go into legs. So hip circles here. We're gonna go into forward or reverse, and then forward, right leg, left leg, reverse, left leg forward, all right? Right leg reverse, right leg forward. Looking to open up our hips. Good. I know I've said this before, but if we've been seated for a long period of time, our hips can be a little tight, all right? So idea here is to, really try to activate those hips, really look at opening up our hips for our range of motion. We're into some squats, we're into some reverse lunges. So our psoas, our hip flexors, our glutes, our hamstrings, our quads, we're looking to warm those up and get them ready to work, sending a signal from our mind down to our targeted muscle groups that we are getting ready to work. So we're just gonna warm them up nice and lightly, get some blood flow going, get some nice, fiber stretch in all right team let's go into a dynamic quad stretch here we're gonna take that right hand we're gonna reach back to our right foot that's gonna get pushed back towards our glutes all right that right leg we're gonna push those hips forward we're gonna send that opposite hand opposite arm up to the sky here really reaching up nice and tall keeping that chest up nice and proud we're gonna also left leg and right leg left arm and right arm right opposing limbs gets pushed back and gets pushed up good let's go at our own tempo here set in for one second two seconds three seconds whatever we may need to feel nice and warm here let's go at our own pace make sure to push those hips forward push that arm up nice and tall focus on our breathing as well just a few more here two last one coming up all right, team, let's go into a reverse lunge with a reach. We have reverse lunges for movement number one. So let's start off with that movement here into a reverse lunge. Top of your workout space, reverse lunge. Hands come together, coming into an overhead reach. All right, whichever leg is forward, that's gonna be the direction that you're gonna reach to. All right, my left leg is forward, my hands come together. I'm reaching over to my left, feeling a little bit of a stretch in my mid to upper back and in my lats. Since we are gonna work our lats today for that movement number two. Good. A little pause, come up, speed up that tempo. Just a little bit more, sit back in those hips and those arms. Last two, last one. Good, good, good. Let's go into lateral lunges here. Nice wide stance. Our toes are gonna be fixed forward. From here, we're gonna shift our weight to the right and to the left, all right? Making sure that our feet and our toes are in a line with one another, okay? We wanna just go ahead and feel out where our legs are at for this morning, this afternoon or this evening, wherever we, we may be joining from. All right, you should feel that stretch within our inner thigh. You should also feel some activation in our quads, in our glutes, and our hamstrings, okay? Again, getting our body ready to work here. We can raise the tempo, a little bit of shifting of weight here, keeping that chest up and that head up nice and proud here. We're really sitting back in those heels. Good, two, one. All right, team, let's go into some YTWs to finish out our dynamic stretch here. So we're gonna take a nice, Proud stance here, feet are shoulder width apart. Soft bend at those knees as always. We're gonna bring our hands here to center. From here, we're gonna extend up into a big Y. Good, back to center, making a big T formation. Thumbs are facing the back of the room. 
Good, and a big W. Good, bringing those shoulder blades together once again, a big Y. Thumbs facing the back of the room, big T. Really squeezing at that top movement, big W. Chest is up, shoulders are rolled back, good. Big Y once again, finish this out, big T. Squeezing at the top, big W, show off those biceps. All right, team, good work, good work, good work. All right, as we get warmed up here, I'll remind us of the timing, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements that we just went through for today and four rounds, all right? In just under 20 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and get my timer started here. All right, just under 20 minutes rather. <clears throat> all right, team, find those dumbbells. We have an alternating reverse lunge into an overhead press to kick us off. All right, grab that water, grab that towel. Appreciate you joining us, team. All right, here we go. 10 seconds here. Find those dumbbells. Again, alternating reverse lunge into an overhead press. Starting us off in three, first round, two, run, front rack position here. Sending back into that reverse lunge. Sending up nice and proud. Control that movement into that overhead press. Again, reverse lunge, sit back, overhead press. Nice and controlled, drive up through that front heel, back to standing position, that rear toe. 20 seconds here, we are halfway through. Keep that chest up. Try not to rest your dumbbells onto your shoulders. That's gonna activate our biceps to a nice isometric hold. Seven seconds, out in four, three, Two, one, last rep, finish it out. And time, good job, drop to one dumbbell here. First round, we learn it, second round, we can own it, we can scale up, all right? Single arm alternating row in eight seconds. I'm gonna start on my right foot, so my dumbbell is gonna be in my left hand. Left leg is pushed out, I'm balancing off of my right foot. My chest is up nice and proud, try to keep those hips square to the floor. That opposing arm is gonna be out for stability. 10 seconds here, keep rowing. And we'll switch, five seconds. Keep with that balance. Two, one, switch arms. Left leg is down, right leg is up. Your toe could be resting on the floor or a few inches above. Good, keep that back flat, squeezing at the top. Good, hips are square. Last three. Two, one, and time. We are asking a lot from our body just from that single, single leg stance there. All right, keeping with one dumbbell, we have a front rack, a front squat with a three second pause. Seven seconds here for rest. 40 seconds of work coming up. Front rack position is gonna be just like this. Two, one, set ourselves up. We're down into that squat. One, two, three, drive right back up. You don't need any dumbbells for this, but we have dumbbells, let's use them. Down into that squat. Again, keeping that chest up nice and proud. Three seconds at the bottom of our squat position, wherever it may be. Find our comfort, challenge ourselves. Drive right back up through our heels, our quads, and then activating our glutes at the top. Last 10 seconds here. Good. Five seconds, last rep. Two, one, and time. Good job. Just a little bit of a tempo and a little bit of a pause at the bottom can really force us to scale up this movement. It's asking a lot again from our lower body with that three second pause. Eight seconds here. We have 10 mountain climbers and two push ups. Coming up in five. Finish up round one. Two, one, high plank position here. 10 mountain climbers. Count them out. Eight, nine, 10. From that 10. Two strong push ups, right? Let's go all the way down with those push ups. Hands are stacked underneath our shoulders. Nice flat back, hips again, square to the floor. Good. Last 15 seconds here. Stay with us. Come on, BFit Nation. Out in 10. Nice strong mountain climbers here. Good. Last four, three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job, team. There we go. Grab some water, grab that towel. Let's get up. 
move around a little bit, stretch out any muscle groups that we need to. Now that we know the movements, we're able to read our bodies a little bit more and find out where we may be tight. Is it our hips, hamstrings, glutes, mid to upper back, arms? Let's go ahead and throw in a little freestyle stretch here. Keep moving, drink that water. All right, team, keep moving. We have 28 seconds here and we'll jump into round number two. Now that we know the movements, now we can scale up, right? Right? All right, so as we move through these next three rounds, progressive overload, think about scaling up in weight. Think about scaling up in tempo. Let's think about keeping our form in check as well, okay? Nice, strong movements. Five seconds here. Grab that weight. Two, one. Here we go, team. Front rack position. Alternating reverse lunge. Overhead press. Good. 25. Good job, team. Stay with me. 15 and out. Keep that chest up nice and proud. When we go back into that reverse lunge, really sit back. 90 degree bend at that front leg. Out in three, two, one. Good work, team. Good work, good work. Single arm row coming up. Reset ourselves, shake it out. Again, with balance, with control, with stability. Keep that core nice and tight. That navel gets pushed back to our spine, single arm. My right leg is down, my left arm has the weight. Two, one, balance, pivot, row, squeezing at the top. Be mindful of where your hips are. Keep your hips square to the floor. Keep that back flat. Do not round out. Five seconds and then we alternate hands. Three, two, one, switch with that dumbbell. Dumbbell's not needed. Full activation can be completed without any dumbbell. That's where we're at. Toe can be placed on the floor for a little bit more stability. Really working on that ankle, that calf. Two, one, to help support us. And rest, 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 rest. Good job, good job. Let's get ready for that front squat with that three second pause at the bottom. 10 seconds here. Things are starting to warm up here. I know team, five seconds here, grab that weight. Like so, by the head of the dumbbell here, two, one, set ourselves up. Here we go, we're down to that squat. One, two, three, drive right back up. Keeping our head up, nice and, and nice and proud. Chest as well. Try not to bring that chest over to the floor. You're gonna sit back in those glutes, sit back in those hips. Open up those knees to drive yourself up back to standing position. Elbows are underneath our dumbbell, right? Keep those elbows underneath our dumbbell for the most support. Good, last three second pause. One, two, three, and you're right back up. Good, good job, 20 seconds here. Catch our breath here, 15 of rest. And we have 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups. 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups. Good job, team. Finish out round number two, nice and strong. Here we go. Four, three, two. Stack those hands under our shoulders, and here we go. 40 seconds of work. Good, reset. Two strong push-ups. Chest hits the deck. Good. If we need to regress with those push-ups on our knees, let's go ahead and do that, team. Lead with your chest. Knees are on the ground, drop down, right back up. All right, hands stay the same, stack underneath our shoulders. Good, last eight seconds. Out in five, finish it out. Two, one, and time. Ah, good job team, good job. Where are we at? How are we feeling? How are we feeling? How are we doing? All right, all right. Again, if you're just joining us, welcome to our BFID Live program every Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is our chance to scale up in our strength and our progression. All year, we've been focusing on resistance training. We've been focusing on cardio-based movements, okay? For today, 
resistance-based movements, all right? We have a, some dumbbell work to really challenge us, really targeting specific muscle groups within our full body, all right, team? If you don't know, I'm b Fit Ambassador Roy Montes, and I'm happy to be here with you to guide you every step of the way, every rep of the way, with 13 seconds left on our rest time. <laughs> time flies by. All right, team, starting round number three, have two dumbbells in hand, front rack position, alternating reverse lunge with an overhead press coming up, two, one. Let's work, team. Good. Alternate left leg and right leg as we extend back to that reverse lunge, pushing those hips back. That front knee is in about a 90 degree bend. That's how, we should, that's how far we should be sitting back in that reverse lunge. Overhead press, palms facing each other. As they go straight up, control that straight down. 10 seconds here, our elbows are stacked underneath our wrists for that overhead press. Out in three, two, one last rep and time. <laughs> Drop one dumbbell here, single arm row. Single arm row, round three, we scaling up or are we scaling up? Good, eight seconds here, weight is in my left hand. My right leg is down, three, Two, sending that left leg back, balancing here. 20 seconds of work, keeping our hips square to the floor. Good. That right arm is out to help us counterbalance. Eight seconds and we are gonna alternate arms here for our row. Out in three, two, one, switch. Left leg is down, right leg is up. How are we doing team? Find that balance. That toe can rest on the floor if we need more stabilization. Core is nice and tight. That'll help us with our balance. Focus on one place on the floor and time, time, time. All right, let's drop with one arm with the one weight here. We have a dumbbell front with three second pause at the bottom. In regards to that single arm row, remember where your eyes go, your body follows. So think about focusing on one place on the floor and that can help you stabilize. Here we go, team. Two, one, three second pause at the bottom of our squat. Let's go, drop down. Two, three, drive right back up. Good. Nice controlled movements for today. Think about our muscle groups that we're working, that we're activating. Think about our foot placing. Think about driving up through our heels, through our quads, keeping our chest up, shoulders roll back. Our head, as always, is neutral, meaning in alignment with our spine. We don't wanna look down, we don't wanna look up. We wanna keep our spinal alignment here for all of our hinge movements, all of our squats, two, one, last rep, time. Good job, team, way to finish that one out. On deck here, we have 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups, 10 seconds. Catch your breath, grab that drink of water. We are on deck here. Let's keep it up. Third round, team. Two, one, here we go. Finish it out nice and strong. 10 mountain climbers, hands are stacked underneath our shoulders. Two push-ups. we need to regress, let's drop down to our knees. Keeping the same great form, leading with your chest on the way down. Reset those feet for those push-ups. Keep it up. Good job, team, good job. All right, team, keep it up, last eight seconds. Where are we at? Ah, last three seconds, two, one, and time. Ah, good work. Way to finish that one out. Way to finish that one out. Catching our breath here, BFIT Nation. Good job today, good job. Good job, how are we doing? How are we feeling through those three rounds? Mark, absolutely, sir. I cannot wait for you to get back with us. Once again, BFIT Nation, we are here. We are waiting for you. We are encouraging you. Stay strong, stay resilient out there. And we will see you very, very soon. Very, very soon. Remember one step at a time, right? Forward is forward in our progress. Think about that long journey. We may be out this week or the next. 
But think about those small, small steps to get us to our end goal. We're in this for the long journey here. Seven seconds here. I'm gonna re-rack my weight here. Alternating reverse lunge team. Let's finish it out. Last set. Sorry, last round. Best round. Alternating reverse lunges here. If we can scale up in weight, let's do it. Team forward is forward here. Keep moving to our last round. As always, I think, I think it's turned the heat up on me over here. We are working today, team. We are working today. <laughs> All right, keep it up, team. 15 seconds. Keep that chest up. Think about our form. As always, think about driving up through our heels, through our quads, our glutes, and long shoulder press overhead. Out in three, two, one time. Single arm rows coming up. Good job, team. Good job. Stay with us. Scale up if we can. Let's go. Let's go. Left arm has the weight. Right arm is down. Right foot is down. Up in two. One. Find that balance. Find that row. Keeping our hips. Woo! As I lose it, keep your core nice and tight. That toe is placed on the floor or a few inches above. Five seconds, and we're going to alternate arms and legs. And in two, one, let's go ahead and switch. Left leg is down, right leg is up. Right arm is rowing, attacking our lats. Our grounded leg is on fire with activation, trying to balance, trying to stabilize. Back is flat, head is in that neutral position, looking a few feet in front of us. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. Sticking with one dumbbell here. Squat with that three second pause. Let's get it team. Woo. Good job. Stay with us here, stay with us. Ah, Christine, join us. Soon enough, Christine, soon enough. Rocking that dumbbell right up front. Let's drop back into that squat. Three second pause, two, three. Drive up through those heels. Keeping that chest up nice and proud. Those glutes sit back into that body squat. Think about our breathing as well. A nice deep breath in on the way down. Drive up, exhaling as you come back to standing. Good. Elbows tucked underneath our dumbbell for the most support. Control this movement down. Last rep here. Hold it. Two, one, and drive up. Good job, team. Good job. Last and final set coming up in our workout for today. Our resistance workout for today. Good job, team. Keep it up. Last set, best set. 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups coming up in five seconds. Let's get down. Let's get ready. Two, one. We're up and we're working. 40 seconds of work. Finish out nice and strong. We can raise that tempo. Let's go ahead and do it, team. Remember to stack those hands underneath our shoulders. Driving up with our knees. 10 and two. It's gonna be the rep count. Again, if we need to drop down to our knees for our push-ups, let's regress, continue to push. Out in five, <laughs> 15. Don't let me pull you. Good. Out in 10 seconds. Good job. Hold it, finish it out. Out in three, two, one. <laughs> And time. <laughs> Good job, BFit Nation. As we catch our breath, way to push through, way to work, way to continue to push for today's workout. Ah, how are we doing? How are we doing? Excuse me while I grab a little bit of water for today. As I bring my heart rate back down. After our workouts, now's a great time to stretch out, right? To really focus on bringing our heart rate back down to a somewhat of a resting heart rate. All right, I know finishing off that round with mountain climbers and push-ups, a little bit of a high intensity movement there, really, really getting our heart rate elevated. So now a great time to focus on stretching a little bit more, cooling our bodies down, before we get on and off with our day. All right, team. Whew, scaling back here, bringing it back down. 
bringing our breath back down, bringing our body rate, heart rate, breathing, grabbing that and getting that all under control as we finish out our workout for today. BeFit Nation, good work today. Good work, way to push through. Again, if you were not able to join us for this workout, save this workout, share this workout and tackle it at a little bit of a later time today. All right, get your Monday set. Start it off nice and strong. Set that tempo for the week here. All right, and let's get our mindset nice and strong, nice and right. Really focus on our goals. What are your goals? Leave us a note in the comments below. Let me know what your goals are. Can we help you with any of these goals? Can each other, our BFIT Nation team, can we help with encouraging, with positive encouragement for anyone who's out there trying to inspire to be better, to inspire, to keep working, all right? Week after week, day after day, each small step, as I was telling Mark, each small step is a progress in the right direction. Stay strong, stay ready, but stay resilient, team. Stay resilient. <laughs> All right, team. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Well, thank you for joining today's BFIT Live program. Again, today was all about control. It was all about resistance training, right? Focusing on specific muscle groups to help push us through whatever movement we are doing. And as always, every day, I like to say every day is a workout. So whether you're in a home facility, whether you're in a gym facility, each of these movements can be applied to outside of a fitness a gym, a home workout space. If you think about the applications of a reverse lunge to an overhead press to putting something up on a shelf. All right, think about a strong core within our, um, within our mountain climbers as well as running, as well as jogging, right? Those mountain climbers are gonna simulate where our knees are driving to, right? Keeping our heart rate elevated, really working on our cardiovascular system. Our push-ups, if we have to get off the floor, if we need to push something in, that's gonna be a push movement, right? All of these movements can be functional and applied outside of our BFIT Live programs, outside of our workout space, outside of our 30 minutes of a workout. So again, keep pushing forward, right? Ready, get ready to start this week off nice and strong. I appreciate you joining our BFIT Live programs. And again, um, visit us, shopmyexchange.com, right? We have everything that you need to build a healthier lifestyle, right? Uh, shop us in store, all right? Make sure to look for uh, specific things that can help utilize and use it as a tool, right? If it's sporting goods, if it's workout gear, if it's dumbbells, if it's mats, anything that you need, we as our exchange stores can provide for you. So with that team, good work today. Way to stay resilient out there. And we will see you again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on our Facebook channel once again. All right, team, Roy Montes here signing off. Have a great rest of your week. Great workout, and we'll see you again next week.